Okay, you're live. Hello, everybody. Okay, you got people coming in. Y'all got chicken in here that I'm sauteing up. You need more olive oil in it. We are making a chicken pasta dish. And I'm using the Dutch oven. That's what they're called. Yeah. Carol Ann, Brenda, and Trisha says, hey, Lou. Hey, ladies. No, she didn't get the crap last night. We got to do something else. I've well, I had the baby. Uh, I don't know that they can even see down in there. Uh, to even see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can get y'all a little closer without being all up in the Kool-Aid. Okay, well we're fixing to take our chicken up. I'm going to pull it off the heat. Okay, minute. so you want me to keep the camera there? Yeah. Right now I'm just pulling the chicken out of this pot. Terry <coughs> and Nola said they like new chicken recipes. Oh, I put the camera over the pot and you move the pot. I'm sorry y'all, I'm just pulling the chicken out of the pot. Okay, we got the chicken out of the pot. We're going to throw the pot back on the aisle. We need to make sure we got enough olive oil. They can't see you, baby. Okay, we're using yeah. some of this Barilla Orzo. Come on. Can I say hi first? Yeah. Baby, no. Mom, say hi. She wants to say hi. Okay, if I can get this open. And that is really hot. Pulling it away because I'm trying not to burn everything on the bottom. But I'm I'm pouring some of this pasta into my pot. There we go. So you're not supposed to eat. Huh? You ain't supposed to eat are you? No, but I'm going to. And we're not going to worry about that on the bottom because we're going to deglaze this. And that's going to get more flavor. What'd you call that pot? What kind of pot? It's a Dutch oven. Dutch oven, okay. It can cook on top or inside the oven. No, sister, we're not watching Harmony tonight. She's just running around. Dion's got her. some of my ingredients. We're going to put more butter to this. You know what? Why not? Why not just butter it all up? Let me see if I can fix the camera to where it's not like... I don't know, it's just kind of a weird view. They were saying like, look, from there over, it's like boobs and food. Well, you're the cameraman. I know. We all like boobs and food, then. 
There we go. That's better. It's got some of your face in it. Trying to get that butter melted. <laughs> Do we have a steak and potatoes? No, we're having chicken and pasta. Joanne from Eleven, Georgia. Making you cook some great meals. Love watching you. Thank you. And yes, y'all just saw me throw a big gob of butter in this thing. We like our butter. He said, oh, come on. Yeah, we don't do too much steak too often. I can't, I'm not supposed to eat beef. Oh, Miss Sandra's in the nice to hello. Hey, Miss Sandra. Sister said, I'm making hot wings and veggies. Now I'm coming to your house. I'm going to do a little more pasta in there. Because oh, I'm feeding, Virginia. I'm feeding the house for it. Miss Virginia's got the seed. Oh. And her husband. Well, I hope y'all get the feeling better. And it's not stupid what that means. <laughs> I'll just say, when are you going to work on your little tree thing? Um, sometime in the next day or so. i got to get it brought in before the rain hits. Alright. To this, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. Trisha's had homemade chicken pot pie. We're gonna add just a little bit of garlic. We ain't trying to overpower it. I like chicken pot pie. I want carrots in mine. So I'm gonna throw a handful of shredded carrots in it. Ooh, Kathy Lloyd said I made creamy chicken casserole with French fried onions on top. That sounds good. Why was the fly in the fruit aisle so nervous? Uh, hold on a second. I don't know, John. Now, y'all, this recipe that I'm showing you, you can add um, spinach or tomatoes to this, but I won't be doing that because I don't have none. You're what John said about the fly. Yeah. It was on a date. Becky, do they make onion onion powder and garlic powder mixed together in a shaker? Uh yeah they do. Yeah, she everybody that just asked, she's making some kind of chicken pasta, rice aroni type. Concoction. All right. Better than bouillon. We're using the roasted chicken better than bouillon. And I'm going to make me up some broth with it. <laughs> make a blue jacket. Had popcorn and M&M's. <laughs> That's a well-rounded uh, supper. We've done that before. We have too, yeah. Come on, mix. We're going to start deglazing. Because we don't want to get burnt. Uh, Helen, pallet wood for a raised garden bed. It'll last a couple of years, yeah. Depends on how long term you want it. Me personally, I wouldn't do pallet wood for a raised garden bed because 
after a couple of years it'll get rotten and fall apart. Stick that in the fridge. Hey John, what is an astronaut's favorite computer part? What is better? I used a. Uh, I made my raised garden bed out of uh, tin. tin, like you use on a roof, and I put pressure treated four by four, six by sixes on the corners, and just made like a big eight by eight by four square that's about three foot tall. Uh, okay. So I got four cups of water in it. I'm gonna add my chicken back in. But anyway, the astronaut's favorite computer part is the space bar. We're gonna turn this back up some. We wanna get this up, uh, this pasta cooked. Where do you go if you get hurt playing peekaboo? I don't know about that one. Well, she's got a concoction going on. We're going to see how good it is. Smells good. I see you. <laughs> <coughs> we want to get this pasta cooked and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients that does smell good though don't it Mom. it's going to taste good too Amanda let me see I don't know, Amanda. Alan, Alan. What, sweetheart? Can I take this one off? No, it's broke. This. You want it off? Yeah. It's just a little metal piece out. That's a metal piece. Which is a good thing. <laughs> so, like I said to this, you could Some add. Flowers on, the, on the TV. You could add cherry tomatoes. You could add um, spinach. You could add celery. Anything like that that you want to add to it. The only veggie that I am adding, I mean, I might, no, because I'd want to, I was going to say, I might put tomatoes, but I'd have to pull mine to the side to do that, and I'm not doing that. I don't think that would be good. No, it'd be good. Oh. <laughs> Supplies. <laughs> Where did she brown in the pot? I don't know. I toasted up the orzo pasta. Oh. Um, I did my chicken, pulled it up, and in that oil that, that I did my chicken in, I threw some butter in, and I just like toasted up my orzo. And then I threw in some carrots, and I used some of the better than bouillon. And I made a chicken broth. I poured two cups of chicken broth and then just two cups of um, water. And I'm going to cook this down. And I used about um, maybe half that box. I'm going to let this cook. And then we're going to add the rest of our stuff to it. Oh, uh, can I see the orzo pack? Yes. You know what the Veda said? What? I'm having must go. Everything in the refrigerator must go. <laughs> Have I ever heard of orzo? It's in a lot of different rice aromas. It's a pasta. 
So when you eat rice, rice and onion, it's pretty much orzo. This is the pasta that is sometimes in the rice around me. It looks like just tiny little pieces of pasta. Kathy Bird said, I made keto chicken, fried peppers, onions, broccoli, cream cheese. That sounds good. God, Charlotte, you, you've been out of power that long? Y'all can see that our pasta is starting to get bigger. That's bigger than what I just had in my hand. Um, the pasta itself takes. You need to hold that post. You held it away from the camera. The spoon. Oh. You had it beside the camera. The pasta takes like about ten minutes to cook. Let's see. I tasted some yeah, of that's it. Some pasta pellets. Never made this concoction, have you? Yeah, I've made it before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Hey, Miss Mary. Oh, Charlotte's got a power that a tree fell down. She took out that power line. Oh, wow. She says she just got it back on. You know, you make so much stuff, I don't know what you cook before and what you ain't. I don't think last time you took care of it, did you? No. We had no carrots in it last time. That's why. That's why I didn't have it. It's uh, like rice and honey. Mm -hmm. It's not rice and honey. It's all from scratch. Rice and onion with chicken and just a little carrot and peppers in it. Yeah, it smells good, huh? I smell a lot of Fredo in it. Where'd it go, honey? That's right. What'd you say, Becky? It's gonna be? She tried rice and onion the first time the other day. Oh, yeah? That's weird. I thought everybody's had that. Yeah, she added garlic, didn't you? Yeah. I did like a teaspoon of um, minced garlic. No, the clock's not right because our power flipped off the other night. Well, we call it garlic. It wasn't. I didn't mince up fresh garlic. I've got some, but I didn't. I didn't do fresh garlic. This so, is seven o'clock, two and a half to seven. This is what it's looking like so far with our carrots. Okay, we're going to turn it down a little bit now. I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Yeah, I'm stirring and scraping the bottom of the pan. Is that like a non-stick oven thing? No, this is not non-stick. Oh, it's not? No. Stick, huh? Yep. A bunch of people just came in and said, what are, you, what are you doing? I turned it down a little bit more. We want it down to a simmer.
We are making chicken or chicken orzo. We're using orzo pasta. We have chicken that we we cooked up. We've got we toast it. Well, here's what we did. We cooked our chicken. We pulled it out of the pot. We left all the drippings and all from the chicken. We cooked it in olive oil. We left that in the bottom of the pan. We threw some butter in there with that. And we poured our orzo pasta in. Toasted it up. And then we threw a um, teaspoon of minced yeah. garlic in here. And we threw in uh, some shredded carrots. You can add carrots. You can add peas. You can add spinach, tomatoes, whatever you want. Whatever vegetable you want in this chicken orzo. Did you use some kind of broth? Um, I used, I was getting it out. Oh, okay. Okay, so after we put our carrots in, we put in two cups of chicken broth that I made with the better than bouillon paste that you buy in the jar. And then two cups of hot water. And we cooked it down to this. Now we're going to make our, make it uh, creamy. Ordinarily I would use heavy cream. I don't have any, so we're just using milk. It'll be heavy by the time it mixes more. Yeah. We're going to use milk to make it creamy. How would this bitch use rice or honey? Um, I don't know. I mean, basically, that orzo is the pasta that you get in rice and But the rice and is going to have rice in it. It's not going to be just pasta. It's going to have rice. Okay. I don't have any shredded Parmesan, so we're going to use some of my grated Parmesan. And I'm going to throw some mozzarella cheese in. Because I want to make this really thick and creamy. Kind of like that, uh... Kind of like chicken alfredo, but it's not. It's like in, like in pasta noodles with the chicken with yeah. the alfredo. Okay, so we put us a good handful of the grated Parmesan. Now we're going to add us a whole bunch of mozzarella cheese. Uh, Jennifer and Cheryl today. Hey, ladies. I wish I had heavy whipping cream, but I didn't. And y'all asked about Michelle. She's she's at her, at her house. She's fine. She's fine. She's just kind of doing her own thing. She is going to get back on her page soon. We just want this cheese to melt, and we want it to thicken up again. And it's going to be good. Yeah, she's just taking care of her family, ain't she? Yep. Like I said, normally I would use the shredded Parmesan, but I didn't have any. So we're using two cheeses, mozzarella and grated Parmesan. And I'm going to put more Parmesan. Why not? Why not? Why not? I didn't have to thicken it up too much. Well, I don't know that rice will be thick. It'll, it will thicken. Or pasta, whatever it is. Is it rice or pasta? It's pasta. Okay. Oh, Trish said, what time's dinner? I'll bring a plate. It's orzo pasta. And now all we're doing is going to let this thicken up and it will be ready to eat. This Virginia said it's good. We're going to be some fat, happy campers, ain't we? I'm just getting my cheese and mixed in there good. What would they be good with some of the wagon rolls? And I'm going to put the lid on it. <coughs> and just let it sit there and simmer a few minutes and thicken it up. John's going to give him a small taste. <laughs> she 
stood behind the camera and looked at me and said, it's good. I did this, picked some of it off the spoon. I said, it's good. <laughs> she said, it's good. It's always good. Oh yeah, Harmony's fine. Like I said, we're just letting this, yeah, we're letting that bubble up and thicken up and You can turn the camera and turn it a little bit, if you want to. He had y'all every which way, didn't he? Uh, I see you too. No, Carla, everybody can add their own salt and pepper. Right? Yeah, a lot of times I don't put salt and pepper because I am a saltaholic. And if I salt your food, you may not like it. I don't eat much salt. Sometimes um, I will salt the food, but I do very little when I do. All right, we're doing it live. Y'all be quiet. I do very little when I do do the salt so that cat just come running through to the back door to be fed. Allison, so that I don't milk. ruin it. Allison, all your meals look delicious. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to take in a minute. It's going to be good. Come on, do your thing. We're ready to eat. And what do you call this meal? Lori says, what is it? It's chicken orzo. It's just orzo pasta. I'll go over it again what I did. So I cut my chicken up in chunks, my chicken breast. And I cooked it in olive oil in this Dutch oven. I pulled it out of the Dutch oven and I did not season it. I pulled it out of the Dutch oven, put some butter almost a full stick like three quarters of a stick of butter in my dutch oven and then i poured the orzo pasta in i used over half a box because i'm i'm making a good bit and i used two chicken breasts two large chicken breasts okay so i poured my orzo in we toasted it up and then we threw in like two big handfuls of shredded carrots um, I put in a teaspoon of minced garlic, two cups of chicken broth that I made with the roasted chicken better than bouillon, but any chicken broth will do, and then two cups of hot water. We cooked that down when it started to thicken. I poured my milk in. Normally, I would use heavy whipping cream, and I wouldn't have to use so much milk. And you would use grated Parmesan cheese. I didn't have any grated Parmesan cheese, so I used, I didn't have any shredded. You would use shredded Parmesan. I didn't have shredded. I had grated. I used some grated Parmesan cheese, and I threw some mozzarella in to give it more cheese flavor since I didn't have any of the good, fresh, like, grated Parmesan. And we're just going to let this cook till it thickens up and that's dinner and it is going to be good oh yeah it's thickening up we don't want it to stick we don't want it to stick Now, this wouldn't be quite so soupy if I'd use heavy cream, but could you imagine this with some, um, um, like Texas toast or something? How good that would be? Oh my God. I think it'd be good with a variety of rolls. You got four or five variety of rolls. 
Okay, I'm going to turn this off now so that as it cools down, this sauce can finish thickening up. Um, I want to know if my carrots are done. They uh, should be. Yeah, Debbie, she's got all the information for a cookbook. She's just been so busy. She said you should write a cookbook. Okay. I'm going to get some out. She's just been so busy, she ain't had time to do it. Give John his bite. He got John. Get your big, big bite. I'm supposed to be a taste tester. Clean pork? Yeah, I just got down the, the um thing. Hot, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gave that two thumbs up. Mm-hmm. You know what'd be good in this? Um... Uh, what? Some bacon. <laughs> no, no, yeah, maybe. I think bacon would be really good in it. Somebody said cornstarch would thicken it. You ever make rolls? Mm. She says she knows. Melanie says she knows you make biscuits and cornbread. You ever make rolls? It's got a lot of cheese in here. So as it sits here and cools down, it's going to get thicker. It's going to get so thick. I think it's thick enough right now. I mean, look at that. I think it's as that cools down, it's going to get thicker because of all the cheese in it. I think it's mm -hmm. fine the way it is. That looks good. Get out of my food. I'm looking. I heard cheese. I got my attention. <laughs> Ooh, Jenny's right. That'd be good over a baked potato. Yeah, I put a good bit of cheese in it, so it's going to thicken up as it cools. I don't think it needs taking in. Alan likes it like this. He doesn't. I mean, I hate it for him. It is going to get thicker, but. That was so good. Oh, I mean, I don't care if it gets thicker. It don't going to change the flavor. Okay, guys, I'm going to hop off. We're going to eat dinner. I'm going to make me some toast. Things quieten down a little bit around here. Everybody gets fed. I'll try to go live and do that craft. Ain't me no promises, but I'll try. I'll see you guys in a bit.